What's up guys, Scotty here. I am back with my friend Big Jiggly Panda. So today we're gonna be reacting to Machinima Inbox, which is basically fan letters that were sent in and they were respond to them. Yeah. It's like the OG Q&A. Yeah. I'm curious to see if any of these clips have Hutch and Nanners. Remember they were on there before uh, APL? Yeah, they've, they've gotta be in here. David Chiang asks, do you miss the old days? If this is a Hutch and Nanners reference, oh, then f it <laughs> 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 well, maybe we won't be seeing any Hudson Andrews clips. <laughs> what an intro. Oh, God. If this is you, then you're in luck because this month we are partnering up with Manscaped. Manscaped is a global men's lifestyle brand that has everything from trimmers, hygiene formulas, and even premium boxers. Their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer has skin safe technology, which helps reduce nicks and cuts. And although your balls might look like a punching bag, please don't treat those little guys like one. Or maybe you've got some wild shrubbery coming from your nose or ears. If so, the Weed Whacker 2.0 is great for you. Or if you just want to ball out, no pun intended, the Performance Package 4.0 is a game changer. It includes the Lawn Mower, Weed Whacker, their patented Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver, anti-chafing boxers, and even a travel bag. So don't wait, click that link down in the description below or head on over to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promo code Scotty's Vlog at checkout. That's 20% off plus free shipping with promo code Scotty's Vlog at manscaped.com. Well, thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring the video and I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, Dude, going for a second. Two rotations. He just did the Sark gaming face. Have you ever watched Sark's videos and just looked at his face cam? I mean, I've watched him. I've never paid too close attention. Dude, he has the best gamer face I have ever seen. It is hilarious, and he just did it while juggling. You got to see if you can catch a clip. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> the for focus. Two rotations. He gets a little bit of tongue action going. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know how APL kept himself composed as often as he did. Dode Almoron asks, which sounds like a system in fucking the Star Wars movies. When was the first <laughs> time you lust your virginity? Who cares lust? about the first time you lust your virginity? It's the second and third times that the ones we're talking about. You idiot. That's Next true. Next question. <laughs> Blom. At a movie theater, which armrest is yours? Both. Both! <laughs> 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 yeah, there's no way I would keep my shit together. Uh, Lee Quang Tranviet. What? I mean, I hear the, the sound of distant Hueys as soon as I read that. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you hear the gunfire? Do How does he do it, man? <laughs> Sark is literally the youngest <laughs> Vietnam veteran. Can't even see it. Every now and then he'll like, zoom, zoom. This is like a stray the round of by your ear. Lee Quang Tran Viet. <laughs> <laughs> How does he do it? I don't know. Constant zingers off the dome. I probably killed your entire previous generation except for whoever saw Oh this week. my! <laughs> killed the entire one, kicked the door in on that thatch hut. <laughs> Bro, where does this come from? <laughs> How does he do it? Oh my god, I swear he's just reincarnated. He is <laughs> he has he has lived a previous life. These are not just off the dome. He's actually retelling us stories. Yeah, that is stained into his memory. Sam Quintina. <laughs> What will you say to your future children, if any, when you give them the talk? In oh. Quotes? I'm just gonna show them. I mean, why, why? Wait, Probably, what? Right? I mean, yeah. babies. That's what you're gonna do? <laughs> just fuck <right>. Front step. <laughs> 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 That's awful. Not in like a gratuitous gross way, but in a beautiful like, <laughs> learn. Watch and learn, and then if they describe, have questions, describe to me your the how it's gonna be. <laughs> beautiful way. Yeah. I'll be your son. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I come from, Dad? Well, son, <laughs> you see this? D <laughs> yeah. Well, I have one too. It's tiny, like a finger. <laughs> one day that'll get bigger, and it'll get hard. Oh at times. shit! And when you love someone, sometimes that hard finger, which is bigger. 
goes, where, see what your mother has there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a sideways mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He hasn't even cracked a smile. There's like a God few little damn. smirks, but that's that's kind of <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, I missed this, dude. I, they need a reunion. You'll take that hard finger we talked about, and it goes inside of there. And when the ew. finger... <laughs> well, when you get older, it won't be ooh anymore. It'll be yeah. <laughs> 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 you'll, and you, you'll move. I mean, ideally, you'll move in and out. Well, you kind of could be in the whole time. Whee! That was a good job. I don't know. That was, I feel like good. I learned something. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put my hard finger, my hard crotch <laughs> finger into my mom, is what I learned from that. <laughs> Someday when I love someone, I'm gonna put my hard finger into my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, these are great. Yeah, I don't even want to think of how I would try to explain that in non-grotesque fashion. Well, I certainly wouldn't just show them like he suggested. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Maybe, maybe, maybe with some illustrations. Like you see, son, you're, you know, I don't even want to. Blaze Ireton Underwood, who wins in a game of penis, take consecutive turns saying the word penis, <laughs> Getting louder and louder in the office. Uh, <laughs> next question, I win. <laughs> Bro, there was like a shriek at the end there. <laughs> Dude, pretty sure that every mic peaked. Bro, that sounded like a toddler screaming the word. He does not sound like a grown man saying that. He sounds like a kid that like his voice is cracking while he's doing it. I don't think I can even get close to reaching that pitch. Can you imagine being in the office that day just not knowing what the fuck is going on? Because you know everybody heard it. The studio isn't that well soundproofed. Yeah, I'm sure there's like a, hey, they're filming inbox right now. Oh, okay. Say nothing else. <laughs> Say less. Cody James Hamer. Sark, what's your take on this so-called zombie apocalypse? The key to surviving the zombie apocalypse is going straight to the end of the evolution of survival, right? It yeah. starts off, things are shitty. Oh no, we're eating less and we're rationing food and oh my God, now we're being careful of other survivors and oh, we had to eat the fucking cat. Oh my God, <laughs> pretty soon you're at the end, right? I snap right to the fucking end. The second we even have a brownout, if a circuit breaker <laughs> trips in my apartment, cannibalism. <laughs> You just cut to the fucking end. That's how you survive. Nice. As soon as I heard about the first bath salt incident, yeah. I ate my neighbor. <laughs> she was disgusting, dude. Did not take care of her body. It was mostly folded, folded, spotted skin. Ugh. But that's how you survive. What if they're infected and you don't know it? And then you eat the zombified infected flesh. You're just inviting it in, Scott. That's true. Then it's a, then it's just over. But then you don't have to worry about anything because you're done. That's also true. Cannibalism is also the end game if you become a zombie too. That is true. Either way, you're eating somebody. Yeah, and you better eat them or they're eating you. Hi, this is Anthony. Hi, is this Anthony Rogers of Machinima.com? <laughs> That's correct. How can I help you? This is Nancy from Credit Services Protection. I was just calling, we have a couple unusual charges on your primary credit card. Wanted to run it by you. <laughs> I remember this. Did you recently rent one gallon jugs? Seems to be an adult entertainment VHS tape. <laughs> uh, that does not sound right. No, I, don't, I did not buy that. All right, so that's $149 that we can check off our list. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I'm getting a little worried here. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever purchased a dildo <laughs> for your asshole? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. <laughs> Dude, he's changing color. No, yeah. no, it's definitely you. <laughs> <laughs> this has you written all over it. <laughs> oh, I feel 
like that was funnier just from their reactions. <laughs> oh, dude. APL. His reactions are fantastic. Also got the guy on the phone couldn't keep it together either. <laughs> I'm sure he knew it was Sark or figured it out eventually. I, you have beautiful eyes. You fucking suck. I miss touch. <laughs> 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 This is incredible. <laughs> yeah! See Danners! Come on! Dude, it's been so long since I've seen his face. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Where would you like it? In my ass. I knew it! I knew it! Alright, hold on, hold on. Nanners, same yeah. treatment. Yeah. I already thought of it. Can I tell you what I yep, thought of? Yep, go for it. I thought of Camaro, but I don't even have any like in the Camaro. I don't, okay. I don't know. I just thought Camaro. That yeah. didn't make any sense. I didn't think it could get any gayer than in the ass. But <laughs> <laughs> you may have been gay about just getting it in the ass, but when you put it, a Camaro in it, yeah. that's yeah. a little weird. No. I mean, it's got like stripes. Yeah. That means Burt Reynolds getting is reamed out in the back of the Camaro. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Burt Reynolds' mustache all up in that. God. Oh my. What the fuck Shit. is happening? Like a Brillo pad on your balls. <laughs> <laughs> What a description. <laughs> oh, that's that's a graphic visual. That's the part of the show where we answer your questions in fast fucking rap fire succession, 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 succession. Oh, I forgot about this. Diagree long ones, no taco, pizza, biatch. <laughs> pizza, biatch. <laughs> I want to argue some wants to know Kit Kat or <laughs> Kit Kat. Because <laughs> Kit Kat's not going to jizz in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> well, they might. Oh, let's do another one. Okay. Let's do another one. All right. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Kit Kat. Cause at least you. <laughs> Cause at least there's a chance you won't get AIDS from a. D what? Uh, that sounds a little backwards. What a man like. What a man like. <laughs> Cause Kit Kats aren't chewy. <laughs> what the fuck? Cause it reminds me of my dad. <laughs> Bro. I'd like to think most of this is only one take, but it's incredible seeing multiple takes. Kind of takes the magic away. I thought it was all just one off. But I'll pretend I never saw them. How about that? Many Walmart to know if we want unlimited bacon and no video games or unlimited video games and no video games. I don't understand this question at all. What does it even mean? <laughs> no bacon. Games There's bacon. There's bacon. Games and, and no, no games. games. Yeah. Did you mean games and no bacon? Are we willing to sack oh. bacon for our video games? Is right. that what you mean? Yeah, what was this guy's so name? Right. What's... Matt, who is Matt? This? Come on, Matt. Yeah. Oh, proofread <laughs> this shit. <laughs> so... I'm gonna go with bacon and no video games, because at least at the end of that scenario, I've got fucking bacon. Yeah. I've got something. If I go with video games and no video games, then I just gave up everything I earned by answering your weird, what kind of <laughs> genie would come out of this way? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking, it's an amorphous <laughs> You awaken, you awaken me from an endless one. I grant you one wish. <laughs> Would you like endless bacon, but no more games? Or would you like games, unlimited games, and no games? Which would you want? You're idiot, take the bacon. You do you just take the bacon. Genie school. All right, hold on, so maybe, maybe he means, what would you rather have, bacon? Bro, you could see his brain just breaking down <laughs> while he was trying to process that. I would have been so happy if that was my question, because not only did I get an answer, but I got like a whole Sark skit out of it. Yep. Louis Deacon asked the deep probing question, would I rather give a blowjob to a hobo for one minute or like APL's beard for 10 minutes? I have to pick one or APL gets to slap me. Thanks, Louis, for the real shitty question. I better <laughs> pick one or I'm going to get slapped. <laughs> Blow a hobo or lick APL's beard. You know what? I'm going to turn this on its head, Louis. Okay, if I lick APL's beard, you know what APL's gonna be? He's gonna be bummed out because my spit's getting all up on his business and near his face. And I've got his hair in my teeth. So you know what? I'm gonna blow the hobo because at least then somebody's happy. <laughs> Me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was such a long, like, roundabout way of saying that, but that was incredible. Dude, that old school pop-up, the click subscribe button, did you see that? And, like, the acid green, look at that. Man, this has been so nostalgic. Yeah, I wish they were still making them. Need a reunion tour.
Yep. This was inbox. Fuck off. <laughs> Beautiful. What a great outro. But that's it for this video, guys. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe down below if you're new. And be sure to check out my friend Big Julie Panda. I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.